Sorry, Sagittarius. I had to pause the video because there's like too much going on and it was like getting aggravating. So overall, I'm going to finish Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces after this. I want to be straight with you as what your person wants to say to you. Okay, let's go ahead and see advice for Sagittarius and this person. What is the advice for this connection? Okay, wedding in reverse. So hold off like engagements or being married with each other. Unrequited love, let your friends help you. Okay, there just might not be enough chemistry. Okay. On the bottom, we do have codependency in the reverse, true love. So it's like almost like you guys need to feel like you guys don't need to like focus on like like money to be together. Because I feel like there is like true love here on the bottom of the deck. We did have true love after codependency in reverse. You guys need to like each have your own money though. Okay, so let's go ahead and see signs you could be dealing with. Okay, so we have Pisces, we got Cancer, alright, we got Taurus, Water, Strongly, Aries on the bottom. Okay, so you guys definitely could be dealing with the Water signs, I have Water here, I got Pisces, Cancer, Taurus. Okay, alright, so let's go ahead and do Capricorn. One second, let me go ahead and fix this real quick. Get all these up. All right, let's go ahead and do Capricorn at one minute 30. Okay, Capricorn, you and your person, what is going on with you guys? All right, on your side, you got Bounty Hunter. Okay, so you could be chasing this person. On their side, we have silence non-action this person could be like ignoring you not giving you attention we do have intervention there is going to be where other people are like involved in this connection for some reason other people are trying to help people are maybe trying to be an influence and fix this for you guys but there's somebody you're chasing after that's not paying you any attention is what i'm seeing I'm not trying to be negative but i feel like there is somebody that they're not really doing much but you're kind of chasing after them Alright, so why is Bounty Hunter here? Why are you guys chasing? Okay, the Hermit. Ten of Cups. And the King of Wands reverse. Somebody here that you maybe have a family with, but you feel like they... The sense of feeling kind of like um, in the dark. You kind of have to get more answers on this. Okay, and you also maybe feel like defeated or unwanted by this person. And you're just like you're still chasing after them. Six of Pentacles reverse. You could feel like they're not giving to you what you deserve. They're not offering much of this connection or they're not giving you much at all. Okay? Why is the non-action card here for Capricorn's person? Ten of Pentacles. Maybe they're more focused on work. With the Chariot Reverse and the Page of Pentacles. Okay? I feel like they're not really coming towards you in a quick way. They're kind of backing up. But I feel like they still are wanting to offer you something here. Stable. Okay? But it's not really a whole lot. I feel like they're not giving you a whole lot. Not much action being taken. Maybe they're really working on themselves or working on their job. With the page of cups reverse okay so i feel like they're not really emotionally giving you much that's why you're kind of you know chasing after this person not feeling like you know this person wants you let's get an epiphany card for capricorn on your side we have living in fear and then they got change is going to come on their side so they know that they have to make a change okay on the bottom we have powerless the struggle is real so you guys feel like there is some kind of struggle here all right, living in fear. Why is that here for Capricorn? Why are you just living in fear? It's like you're scared you're going to lose this person. You're doing a lot of, like, soul searching with them. You feel like you're going to lose them. Like, maybe this is a person you want to have a family with, and you feel like you're just not going to have it. All right, why is living in fear here? Okay, Seven of Swords. P Page of Cups, the full reverse. You feel like this person's being dishonest, okay? That they're being shady, that they're not actually willing to offer you something. Or what they offer you is not enough. Okay, that they're not actually wanting to take a new chance with you. They're just being kind of fake. Or they're not really being completely, you know, transparent by what they want. Okay, could be dealing with Aries here. Or a Cancer. But it's like, you guys feel like there's a sense of they're not being completely honest about what their intentions are. Alright, change is going to come on their side. Okay, with the Ace of Cups reversed. Okay, the Five of Pentacles reversed. And the Awakening reversed. So I feel like they're doing like a judgment call. Like they are going to come back around, but they're trying to figure out if it's a good time, how they actually feel, or do they have the feelings for you like they thought they did. Ten of Swords, Sun Reverse. It might actually just cause more pain 
if they do come back around. That's why they're kind of wondering what they should do. Okay, it might actually cause more pain on both sides if they come back. Could be a person like you're separated from. All right, so what do you want to say to this person, Capricorn? What do you guys want to say to them? All right, I want you now more than ever. Okay. So that's why you're stressed and living in fear. You want this person now more than ever. That they're real desirable to you. All right, so what does your person want to say? My ex is messing with my mind. So I don't know if they're talking about you, if they're talking about somebody else, but somebody is messing with them. Okay, I can't leave yet. So they could be like in another situation. Okay, they could be in another situation. And that's why they can't, you know, do this. Alright, what advice do we have? Engagement in the reverse. Free yourself. I feel like I would just get away from the situation that they obviously are involved with somebody else. And that it's just not going to go anywhere. Okay? Chemistry in the reverse. You guys might not even like this person like you thought you did. Alright, or they might not have enough chemistry with you either. So let's go ahead and see what signs you could be dealing with. Okay, we got Gemini. Leo. Capricorn. Libra. And then Aries on the bottom. You guys could be dealing with another Capricorn. Okay, Gemini and Leo here strongly. Alright, let's go ahead and do Aquarius. Alright, what's going on with you and your person, Aquarius? Let's see. You and the person you're dealing with, what's going on? Alright, on your side you got fake um, social media, fake profile, hiding something. And then they got, get on the same page, interview. Okay, with Awakening. Somebody else had this, I think it was Libra. So you guys could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, maybe like a Libra. Because I think actually, yeah, now that I think about it, I think the star card was. Yeah, yeah, the star card was in Libra's reading. So you de guys, you guys could be dealing with an, um, a Libra. Ooh, okay, that's weird. I'm like starting to connect the dots. That's creepy. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get one more shuffle. So you guys could be doing this to this person, having the fake profile. Because they had the same exact cards come out. All right, so fake profile, what are you hiding? Ten of Cups, Reverse, the Chariot, Ace of Swords. All right, so it's like you're being honest about how you wanted to move forward. Maybe you made a fake profile. You already told this person, like, we're not going to be together. Let's move forward. But they feel like you, you kind of had to hide something about... There's something you had to hide from this person. Like, you're being, like, direct, honest with this person. Could have been a Cancer, too. But you're being honest that like you didn't want this, you know, you weren't happy and you wanted to move on. But it's like you felt like you had to make some kind of fake profile with the three of wands. To kind of see your options, explore other options, see what else was out there. Okay, what does your person want to talk about? The world reverse, a lot of unfinished business with the page of cups. They want to offer you love, two of cups reverse, because they feel like there's a disconnect in your guys' energy. Okay, but they do still want to, they still love you, they still want to offer something and talk about how you guys can fix this. The seven of wands reverse. Okay, so if this person still wants to make things right, still want to work on things. Alright, let's get an epiphany card for Le uh, Aquarius. Why is it Libra? Okay, the distance will keep us apart. Okay, you guys could be at a distance. A chariot can represent distance too. Alright, your person has the power. Struggle is real. Alright, hearts that speak the same language on the bottom. Okay. So there might be a little bit of distance between you guys. You guys could be... Like at a separation or something. Alright, your resistance will keep us apart. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords reversed. You're not wanting to let this person go. Eight of Cups reversed. Yeah, you're not wanting to emotionally walk away from this. The Hermit reversed. You're wanting to get out of your head not be isolated in this anymore you want to you know release something here you still want to be with this person but you want to release feeling like you're stuck okay could be done with a Virgo too with the wheel here in reverse all right so why is the power struggle here for this person okay Queen of Pentacles seven of Pentacles awakening they realize that they 
invested a lot of time into this. There's a lot being invested into this connection. A lot of time they spent. A lot of stability. Okay? With the Knight of Swords reversed. But I feel like you guys don't talk much. Okay? Even if you guys maybe live together, I feel like there's not much conversation between you guys. Alright, what do you want to say to this person, Aquarius? Let's see what you want to say to them. I want to romance you. Okay? And then your person, my emotions are running away from me. They're not really sure how to feel. Like they do feel a lot of feelings for you, but they're kind of getting scared. Okay, I want you to tell me your fears. Uh, I'm not afraid of who you are. Okay? Like a lot of opening up to each other about things. What's the advice? Let's see advice for this connection. Okay, release your ex in reverse. So if this is your ex, like, don't release this person. Forgiving and learning. Okay. So forgive and learn the situation. Maybe you guys can heal this. Okay, I feel like you guys want to fix this, okay? Let's see what signs you could be dealing with. Okay, sun signs. So it could be a Leo. We got Taurus, Scorpio, Libra. I got water here and then cancer on the other side. Okay, so I could have the sun sign of Libra. Like I said, Libra, because I had Libra in the other reading. Scorpio and Taurus. Yeah, I don't know why I feel like you're dealing with a Libra. Because that Libra's reading, they had the same situation. Like same exact situation. I don't really know if it was all like the same as this, but there was a lot of, you know, wanting to be with that person, make things work, but they had, you know, hiding something from them, keeping something back. Okay, let's go ahead and do Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Alright, how do you feel in this connection, Pisces? Alright, so you got soulmate here. So you feel like this is your soulmate. And then they have divine masculine on their side. So yeah, if you are a woman, it doesn't matter. So if you're a woman or a man, there's the other person is a divine masculine. Okay? On the bottom, we have lockbox. There's a lot of frustration, a lot of things being kept back. Okay, but you feel like this person's your soulmate. Oh, babe. Alright, soulmate. Why is the soulmate card here for Pisces? Page of Wands. Okay, the sun in reverse, two of swords. Because right now, like, you still... What, babe? Yeah. So you're, you're kind of, like, stuck, not sure how to feel about this. Because a sense of you feels, like, unhappy in this connection. You feel a soulmate connection, but you feel unhappy. But with the Page of Wands, you're still kind of wanting to go towards it. With the Four of Cups, you could feel like you're being ignored by this person or rejected. Maybe they're doing their attention elsewhere, like they're focusing more on their work or their self. Okay, but I feel like you guys, you don't want to emotionally walk away from this person. Alright, Divine Masculine. Let's get more about the Divine Masculine here. That's not really saying a whole lot. Could be an Aries, okay? King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, the Fool. Could be an Aries. You're dealing with Aries and Leo here. I have both. So we have, could be two energies well. You could have two people... Could have a king of pentacles and a knight of pentacles. So you could have somebody very money oriented and then also somebody that is money oriented but not as much. Okay, but there is stability with both people. And I feel like there is a sense of having a, taking place with this person. Hey man, there's a lot of being stuck though. And I feel like if you are dealing with two people, they both are kind of going really slow. Because I feel like there is maybe two people, the two of swords, there's a lot of not sure of like what you want to do. Alright, let's go ahead and get the epiphany. Alright, on your side we have hidden desires. Okay, on their side we have twin flame union approaching. So this is like your soulmate or twin flame. Okay, we have ready, willing, and able on the bottom. Alright, let's go ahead and clarify. So I kind of like this. You guys have hidden feelings that maybe you guys aren't expressing to this person. Okay. Alright, so why is hidden desires, hidden feelings here, or hidden intentions here for Pisces? Okay, three of pentacles, ace of swords, 
and the eight of wands so you want to communicate with this person about what you're wanting that you want to work things out maybe you haven't said that before that you haven't said that you're actually willing to make this work okay with the two of swords there's a lot of confusion a lot of not really telling this person or not knowing how you feel about this person or what you're wanting okay twin flame union why is that here hey man after time of being stuck i feel like you guys are going to maybe try to make things work eight of cups okay strength reverse they had to walk away from something that was holding them back or something that was making them stuck okay i feel like they are going to maybe try to open up more could be a pisces or a leo <coughs> they have to walk away from something else okay there's a lot of stuck energy but i feel like they are wanting to like not hold back anymore but they'll wake you in reverse the world here they realize like you guys have they have to make some kind of judgment call to make a new cycle with you guys okay then we have the Six of Swords, so that way you guys can move forward. Alright, let's go ahead and see what you want to say to this person, Pisces. What do you want to say to this person? Or people? I won't give up. Okay. Let's see what they want to say. I feel close to an answer. So soon they feel like they know kind of an answer. They know what to do. Okay, you're the first thing on my mind when I wake. Okay, so you guys think about each other a lot. I feel like... Between you guys, I feel like you guys both have a really strong connection. And I feel like soon maybe it is going to take off with the fool here. Alright, what's the advice for Pisces in this connection? Let go of control issues. Don't be controlling the situation. Okay, true love in the reverse though. Okay, because you might be making it where you guys don't have this true love, this connection by, you know, holding... You know, like really holding like, you know, the connection, making sure that you are controlling it and control... All right, let's see what signs you can be dealing with, Pisces. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo. We got Pisces, we got Capricorn, and then Fire. Okay, so you guys could be dealing with them, or they could have this in their chart. Okay. All right, guys, let me know down below if you guys like the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know if you guys like this, and I'll do another video like it. Thanks, guys, for watching.